All right, hi, I'm back. Um, it's taken me a little while. I'm so sorry. Just so much going on. Um, I'm going to do a bubble tutorial. You need acrylic paint, white. I mean, you can do bubbles in any color, but I'm using white. I already prepped the nail. I painted it purple, and then I put a matte polish on it. I think if you make a mistake, the polish, the paint wipes off the matte or scrapes off easily, so you can start back over. So, um, I I have a spray bottle near hand. I keep the pet paint a little bit um, wet just for easier application and then I just start by applying with a dotting tool like bubbles and I let it sit for a minute and then I put some water on it and absorb it off with the brush and the brush I'm using it is um, that Kalinsky hair um, and I got it at Hobby Lobby it's a Mark's Touch brush. It has a wide handle and a very narrow tip. But the brushes are so tiny and you can do a lot of detail work with them. And I really do like them. But here's the brush. This one's a spotter brush. But I'm just going to keep applying water. And um, absorbing it until I get the bubble I like. And then I'm just going to keep doing bubbles in different sizes throughout the nail. And I just dripped all over my finger and all over the um, one side of the nail. But here you could see which is a good example how easily your mistake does clean up. See? And then just back to taking the paint off and making bubbles. And then you just basically keep doing this till you get the pattern you like. I'm going to get a smaller size dotting tool now. And just make a few smaller bubbles. And I have an even smaller brush. It's a Mark's Touch. And this is a 20. 20. So this really will get in to the really, really tiny detail. The other brush was small too. That was a three. But this one's ever so smaller. As you can see. I'm just going to take the bubbles on a diagonal across the nail. I'm not going to do the full nail. I'm kind of making a diagonal vertical design. Just so I'm not here to making bubbles for 20 minutes. It's a pretty much self-explanatory video. But I really do like using watercolors to make bubbles, acrylic paints. Um, you can make, I've made them in all kinds of colors and sizes. And then you can take a really small dotting tool 
and I don't like that dot. So take a brush and some water and go in there and wipe it away. You can go in and make a couple of tiny dots. Really small to accent your design. But I actually think it needs a bubble there and a bubble there. That's just my opinion for me. And when it dries, you can add like in the other one. I went through and used an acrylic paint and it goes on white. And I just got it, and I'm going to be showing it in a haul. Um, it goes on white, but it dries with a holographic glitter. And see here, I'm not happy with it. So I'm adding more bubbles. Like usual, I think sometimes we're our own worst critics when it comes to our own art. I don't want to make this video super long because I have a couple other ones that I'm editing, and, I'm, and I don't know about anybody, but I'm editing right now on YouTube, and then I went to iMovie for help, but uh, I, I'm really having a hard time with it. I don't know if anybody has what? any easy tricks. Like, I have a hard time figuring out how to splice the movie, the video. But, um, there's just some bubbles there. And we're going to go right there, and then that'll be it. So this is the last bubble. And then... Excuse my dog barking. Lucky, um, my granddaughter's taking a nap, so he's kind of on guard. Sorry about the barking. Um, but I did get this acrylic paint. It's called. It's by Folk Art. It's called Extreme Glitter, and it's a holographic glitter, and um, it goes on white, as you'll see. And it has a god-awful smell, not like other acrylic paint. But you can go in and just touch up the bubbles. And I kind of overloaded my brush. Just to give it that glitter, that sparkle bubble effect. Because it's, like, super pretty. And I thought it was going to be like a more extreme glitter, but it's actually just a subtle glitter, which I like because sometimes you can really over glitter. So for like just that little bit, but it's a paint. So you got to let it dry. And once it dries, I'm going to fan it here because I don't want to splice the video, so I'm sorry. And then after it dries, It'll look like this one here, and then basically you just top coat with whatever top coat um, you can put on other glitter, but I wanted it to just look like bubbles, 
real bubbles, and I use um, a, a variety of top coats. I use uh, Mia Secret Ultra Gloss. I use Such Veets. I use um, INM Looks Wet. Um, and I also use Wet n Wild, which it's the simplest, cheapest top coat. But I, ab I absolutely love it. It's shiny, um, but more for my nail clients, I do um, the, the topper brand because it lasts long. And I do do acrylics and UVs, um, all kinds, which I'll be getting into stamping. Stamping, I'm kind of new at. And I'm just going to top coat this. And you don't want to... You want to do it ever so lightly, but there is the bubble nail art. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to be putting more out here on a daily basis. I'm going to try. I have four or five now that I am editing and a couple of haul videos. So bear with me because, like I said, I am learning. But there is so much I want to do for this channel and get out there because I really do love this and I have so much stuff. And um, I'm not working out in the field right now just from home. So I really do want to show everybody my work. And um, I hope uh, we have a really good ride together. And I hope you enjoy my videos. Give me a thumbs up and tell people and subscribe. And um, if you have any tips, I'm good with it. And I'm good with criticism. And I am going to be doing some nails on some hand models here soon. So it's just at the moment I don't have any that you know, for the starting out. So I will. So thank you so much and um, see you soon.